Hey, what's up, turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. I think it's time I checked in on the S-Wing Sportsman's Axe that we first did a video on. It's been over three years now. So how I've been using this in the past three years has been uh, basically used to pound in stakes, wooden stakes. I'm not using any metal. I would never use this particular ax to hit metal with the pole of it, only wood. I've also been using it to split up firewood or basically for whatever reason, I need to split down some uh, small rounds. Two techniques I've used it. I don't even know the name of the one, but basically, you know, you're seeing it where the holding the hatchet parallel to the piece of wood, hitting it against a log. That t technique works really well for small types of axe and hatchets. And I've also used it in, uh, in the way of with the baton, like I would a knife, but some uh, circumstances it just lended itself to use, use a baton with it. And that's worked really well as well. And the last sort of uh, main way I've been using the hatchet is through carving or stock removal on uh, larger pieces of wood, whether I want to you know, carve a, a tent stake, for instance, or a spoon utensil. So anything in that manner where I'm using it more of to, you know, get a, a shape out of the piece of wood. And it's worked really well for that. With that being said, what I want to do now is get some close-ups of the features of the Sportsman's Axe and tell you what I like and maybe some things I don't like about it. Let's start with the sheath since it's on. It's a nice veg tan sheath, probably about six or seven ounces. Uh, this is the sheath that comes with it, and I really didn't see anything wrong with it, enough for me to make my own and put it on here. I'd like to, but the pragmatist in me, what's the point of, you know, taking this off and when it works just fine? The only thing I did with the sheath was right here, is I just cleaned up this edge. It wasn't really nice and uh, b burnished like this, so I... Uh, I don't even think I used a beveler. I think I just take some sandpaper, knock down the, the burr, if you will, and then just burnished it. I guess I should back up for a second, let me say. So this is a sportsman's axe, and this is the larger version of the two, and it's widely available in most hardware stores and big box hardware stores, and it's going for around, you know, 35 US dollars, which, in my mind, it's uh, pretty accurate for, for what you're getting. The price is uh, on point. So this is a sort of a single piece of metal design coming down from the handle, going the whole way through the leather stacking. It's peened over on the end. I haven't done anything to the handle. So a lot of people say uh, it's in your best interest to maybe take off the protective service they put on the leather stacking. And it's understandable why they would put a really hard, sort of thick coating on this for shipping purposes, just to keep it nice before it gets to the customer. Um, but I haven't sanded any of this off anything like that because it never gave me hot spots. It never gave me any blisters. And that's one sort of common theme I hear about when people talk about the sportsman's axe and the leather stacked handle version in general, or specifically, is that it's so smooth that you're gonna get blisters. I don't know if just my calluses are in the right place on my hands, but I've never had hot spots or any issues with the handle as it came. So as I mentioned earlier before, it's a single piece of metal design. And specifically, I want to talk about this area right here is on a wooden handle hatchet or axe is that you have meat to grab onto if you want to choke up because this is so thin, you really don't have that opportunity or comfort if you want to. But on the opposite side of that, because this is such a, a lightweight hatchet, when I just sort of choke up and sort of hold, hold right here, I have plenty of control that if it was a little bit heavier and I'd want to get closer, I'd need to. I don't ever have that issue because I have enough control just going this far up the handle. And since we're talking about the topic of handle and it not being a wooden handle, it's just easier to maintain on your end as opposed to a wooden handle. Now that can be a plus or minus in your book, but it's worth mentioning that there's definitely less maintenance on this design of a hatchet. Like I mentioned before, I've been using this to do some carving and stock removal. And yes, it's not a dedicated carving axe or hatchet, but because the cheeks are so thin coming from the bit, <clears throat> it works really well. And this is a convex edge on this, and 
it might not be the best for carving, but like I said, because coming from the bit through the cheeks, because there's no eye in here, excuse me, there's no eye in here for a wooden handle, that it stays really thin back into the pole. And like I said, it's lightweight, so doing that kind of carving task that uh, you've seen me doing already in the beginning of this video, it works really well, and I have really no complaints. I don't really find the need to purchase a more expensive dedicated carving hatchet. This works just as well for me, the amount of carving I do. For me, I see this sportsman's axe as just an all-around sort of companion hatchet or axe. And like I said, it might not be the best for certain tasks, but for me, the skill, not always, but usually will trump the tools that if I feel like if I'm increasing my skills and only using, you know, not the best equipment, that if I do graduate towards specific tools, I'll already be in a better position because I learned how to use something that's not quite the best for the job, if that makes sense. My closing thoughts on the sportsman's axe are as follows. <laughs> I think it's a good buy for the price. The fact that it's made in the USA, this particular sheath on this one was not, and I mentioned that in the first video, I don't know sort of where that came from, but it's made in the USA, it's widely available, uh, it's been quality, uh, well it is quality, it's held up well, the handle really isn't falling apart at all, there's no wooden handle to maintain, and for some of us that's a plus. I really like the fact that it's thin cheeked from the bit going down to the pole as I mentioned before, lends itself, I think it does a pretty decent job for carving, at least how much I've done it. So if you have experience with this sportsman's axe, let me know. How have you been using it? How's it held up for you? I've seen people using these things that look like they've been, been in, a, in a dumpster for 40 years and they're still putting edge on it and swinging it. So, you know, I think it has the history and it has the credibility that it's a decent tool for the price. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it. It really helps us. It really does. It puts us in better standings with YouTube and it just encourages us as well that you like what we're doing. For the next video, this is Crick with Black Owl Outdoors. Later, turtles.